Uh, one is nice and brown. What's up guys? Mark here. Today is August 12th. It's a rainy, stormy day here in Atlanta, Georgia. But today I'm craving some fish. So I'm gonna head to the local farmer's market and see if I can find a fresh fish to chef up for y'all today. All right, come on. Can I see this one? This one. Big one. Like two big ones, one small one. Yeah. Yeah. Can I see some down here? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> How old are you? 20. Oh, 20. You're not? 18? Striped bass. All right, let's go. All right, today this is what we're cooking. Striped bass. Today we got some striped bass, not to be confused with white bass. This is a different species. A lot of you probably know striped bass because this is a very high quality fish. Like you'll find it at expensive restaurants, stuff like that, because it's very, very good. You can also find it at sushi restaurants too. Now these are wild caught, not farm raised, so I'm not gonna make any sushi with them. With the farm raised, they control their diet, so there's way less chance of like parasites, but with the wild caught, these could easily have parasites. So these were $6.99 a pound, I think. So it ended up being about $34. Got two big ones and one smaller one. These ones look really fresh. This one, maybe not as fresh as these two. And yeah, got a, this one's got a little bit of big belly. Maybe got some eggs in there. So I'm excited to see what's inside. But today, with these striped bass, I don't know what I'm gonna cook. I was thinking like the Chinese style steamed fish, but I might not do that. I might just do, I got some Malaysian instant fish curry sauce. 
a while back from the store. So I'm thinking I might just use this and make some fish curry. But I still don't know yet, so we'll see later. But first, we're gonna take the scales off. I actually did a video on the striped bass before and I said it then and I'll say it again. But they have the, they got these spines on their dorsal fin. So you have to be careful when you're uh, taking off the scales or else you'll prick yourself. Right, we got all the scales off. Next, we're gonna we're gonna gut the fish. We're gonna start off with this bigger one. We're gonna come down this hole right here. We're gonna take the gills. Looks like this is a male. It's got some milt right there. We're gonna cut the gills right here. And pull. Everything should come out. All right, so it looks like the stomach is actually pretty empty. Got the heart, the liver. So we got the milk. Throw away the guts. And we're gonna wash out the belly. Pop the swim bladder. All right, we got them all clean on the inside. And look at that fat they got. I'm starting to think these actually aren't wild, but they are farm raised just because of how fatty they are. But anyway, let's fillet. All right, we're gonna come down the belly right here. Or actually first, let's cut off the head, come behind the collar. Flip. Same thing behind the collar. Go to the bone and save this one for later. All right, now we're gonna come down the back. Little guideline cut. Follow the spine. We're gonna come over the spine like that. Then come up until you hit the ribs. And then go through them. Ush. Pull in number one. Some good looking meat. Same thing, we're gonna make a guideline coming down the back. Then we're gonna come along the spine. Flip. Belly side. Just like that. You can save this and use this for fish stock. And right, next we're gonna take off the, the rib bones. To stay pretty close to them so you don't lose this precious belly meat. I bet you this is gonna be good. All right, this fillet's got the ribs off. Same thing on this one. All right, two fillets. All right, this one, we're gonna cut into steaks. So we're gonna take the head off. And now we got our cleaver. So I I've never done this before, so I believe we make a cut down the middle and then just go through. Like that. Got one steak. Cut these fins off. Same thing with these ones. Take number two. 
number three, number four, All right now we got the steaks ready all right so this meat we're gonna make this use this and make some fish curry with these pieces just like it has on the front these two pieces of filet i'm gonna save for another day and then this fish we're gonna steam chinese style ジャスティン。何してんの何してんの家の中に。え何してんの今日はね、スライトバスがあるんだよ。ほら。ほら、これこれ。待って、待って、待って。待って。待って、お座り。お座り。お座り。うるうるうるうるうるうら、うら、食
destroy it fast. And simmer that for eight minutes. Let's eat, that took a while. All right, man, this looks good. All right, first let's start off with this Chinese style seamed fish. Get a piece of meat from right here. All right, right here. Mmm, that is juicy. The meat is so tender. God dang. And it goes so good with the sauce. Let's get a little bit of sauce in there. Mmm. If you've never had steamed fish before, give it a try. This is only my second time trying it, but fire. Alright, next. Let's give this fish curry a try. Right here. That sauce packs a punch. It kind of reminds me of like Indian curry or like just in the fact that there's a lot of spices going on and it's really good. This one makes you want some rice. And last but not least, this striped bass liver. Let's give it a try. Surprisingly, not that offensive. Not bad. If you like liver, like chicken liver, I think you would like this too. Definitely more fishy than chicken liver though. Not bad though. All right, now that I tried everything, I'd like to present my drink. Damn! The silver one. In the chef and up cup. Kumpai. Oh. That's good. All right, 
I think I'm gonna enjoy the, the rest of this in private. Striped bass. That was my first time trying to make fish curry. That was so good. The steamed fish was really good as well. Definitely, if you can get your hands on some striped bass, give them a try. Either at the high quality restaurant or go buy it yourself, fillet it, chef it up. Let me know in the comments how y'all like to cook striped bass. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. Check out my merch. And see you on the next one. Bye!